Open Device Manager. Then, locate the problematic USB external hard drive. Right-click on the unknown USB device and choose Uninstall Device. Once the process is complete, unplug the USB drive and reconnect it. The driver should be loaded automatically. Also open Device Manager. Expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers category. Right-click the unknown USB drive and select Uninstall. Restart your computer after the process. Your USB controllers will be reinstalled automatically. Type Power Plan in the search box. Click on Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Advanced Setting tab, go to USB Selective Suspend Setting and select Disable. Finally, click Apply, OK to confirm it. If the previous three steps couldn't help, you can only initialize the disk. This can get your USB back on track. Notice that this will also cause data loss. But don't worry, we will share you with the data recovery tool later. Locate the disk showing unknown, right-click on it, and select Initialize Disk. Select the MBR or GPT partition style and click OK to proceed. If this method caused data loss, you can use MyRecover to easily bring your data back. Next I'll show you the detailed steps with this tool. If you find it useful, please download it in the description. Launch MyRecover. Select the disk and click Start Scan. It will first run Quick Scan and then Deep Scan and display all the found files on the selected disk. Select all the lost files and click Recover Files. You will then be asked to select a location. Please select a new location instead of the original location. MyRecover is one of the most powerful data recovery software in Windows, which can recover data from various devices. Simply hit the link in the description to download free version of MyRecover to try it. The free version supports limited file size to be recovered. To recover unlimited size of files, you will need to upgrade to its advanced edition. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. And don't forget to subscribe to us. If you have any questions or issues, please leave comments or email us.